two years ago, I had a car accident and I, I didn't want to get another car because of my age already. What, what the heck do you do to, to get around? How do, how do I go to the store? How do I, you know, how do I function? And someone told me about how oh, there is volunteers here, you know. And I said, oh, that would be great. This means I get out in the open and see other seniors. It just gives you peace of mind to know that you've got somebody you can count on. Get to see the stores and the space in Texas. I had the opportunity to go to the grocery store or go to the to a doctor's appointment. I go to the doctors and they usually stay with me. I sure was happy to see somebody else driving. They're a heck of a lot better at it than I was. I'm, I'm Ben from Driver Senior. We spoke on the phone last night. I'm your driver for the day. Oh, okay. Um, just one moment. Okay, ma'am. <sighs> ma'am, really? This is gonna be a long trip. So we're going to the pharmacy, the salon, and the park today, right? That's it, young man, but I need to go to the hair salon first. Absolutely. And, uh, call me Ben. You really can build up a good friendship. He had broken his hip, and um, he needed a ride to his therapy appointments, and I'm real good at consistency. So that's how Carl and I met. They become very close friends, and it's something that you just really enjoy. And you look forward to it as much as they do. We were getting along so well that we just decided that we would just keep seeing each other. And that was four and a half years ago. They just don't drive for me, but they are friends. We don't let anything stop us from what we get to do. And, and if you haven't heard, he's 93 years old. Just a lot of good people out there that are driving seniors. He's, he's become a part of my family, and I think I've become a part of his family, you know. Even her dog, Snowball, comes up and kisses me on the face <laughs> every time I come in. <laughs> She's a sweet lady, I think. Nah, we shouldn't be too much longer. A couple more stops. I mean, she is a little dressed up for a trip to the pharmacy, so... Yeah. No, I, I don't mind. You know, like I said, she's a nice lady, and I don't think she gets out very much, so. Yeah, I'll call you when I'm on my way home. Okay. You too. Bye. Oh, very nice. Oh, I've been coming here for 50 years. They better know how to cut my hair. Come on, young man, we're going shopping. I have been driving probably for about 10 years now. The drivers that I have met really like to help people. It means so much to us to see what's outside. We all are given the same amount of time. So use your time wisely and help other people. And it can, it can be two hours a week and be one hour a week. I like to, to have fun. So I say silly things and they, they know me for just uh, being, you know, teasing, you know. I, make myself like I'm young, you know, looking at nice-looking men. So you've lived in this neighborhood for over 50 years? <laughs> Since before you were a bad idea in the back seat. <laughs> you know, my husband and I met at the soda fountain here. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. A lot of changes. Like no more soda fountain. Yeah, <laughs> my grandparents used to talk about this place a lot. Oh. Thanks, kid. 
Just call me Granny. Sorry. How about kids? You got any family in the area? Oh, you got a son. He lives a few hours away. You know, I wish I could see him more than I do. Yeah. Looks like an interesting dinner at your house tonight. The people that I drive almost unanimously are lonesome. They're housebound. It's a big help to get the groceries delivered, but the socialization means as much as uh, saving a trip by taxi. They're longing for somebody to talk to. As my dad used to say, we get hungry for talk. The personal communication and relationships that you make are way more important than, than the driving. I live alone and I have days I don't talk or I don't see anybody. They literally are, are housebound if it wasn't for uh, drive a senior coming by and getting them out of the house. It just brightens their day and they look forward to it. And the love I receive for them, the smile, the care, it's all I need. I'm pretty happy. funny. I must have driven by this park a thousand times and I've never noticed this tree before. Mm. It's been here for as long as I can remember. And that's saying something. He would have liked you. Fifty years ago today, we sat under this very tree. Shared a soda. And he asked me to marry him. It was a lot smaller than the tree, I mean. What was his name, your husband? Richard. His name was Richard. Would you like some time alone? What I'd really like is if you'd sit here and have a soda with me. Is this a date? Because if it is, I'm gonna have to call my wife and ask permission. Shut up and drink your soda. I'm kind of surprised I've lived this long, but I'm in good health and I feel blessed to have friendship and to get out and be able to do things. It's important. I really appreciate what they're doing, and I, and I wish, I wish I had done it while I had the capability. Until someone experiences that, and until they get out and, and realize what's involved, they don't know what they're missing. It will enhance your own life tremendously. So if you like people, and uh, you enjoy driving, it's it's a good volunteer thing for you to do. In the end, we say all the time, um beijinho para todos, a kiss to everyone.